Okay, today we're going to talk about two-step inequalities. Let's talk about how to solve two-step inequalities. Well, the first step is to just solve it as if it were a two-step equation. Okay, and we know how to solve two-step equations. You, you write it down, you undo any addition or subtraction first, then you undo any multiplication or division. So, we're going to solve as if it were a two-step equation. And then we're going to graph the solution on a number line. An important note to remember today is don't forget to flip the inequality sign if you multiply or divide by a negative number. Now we've gone over that when we did one-step inequalities that were multiplication and division inequalities. Let's take a look at three examples. Our first example is n divided by negative 3 plus 2 is greater than 0. Well, here's the variable. They're doing, they're dividing by negative 3 and they're adding 2. So the first thing we need to undo is the plus 2. The inverse of adding 2 is subtracting 2. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. On the side with the variable, these 2's cancel out and it leaves us with n divided by negative 3 is greater than negative 2. So now we need to divide by, or excuse me, they're dividing by negative 3, so we need to multiply by negative 3 to undo that. Remember, when we're multiplying by a negative 3, that requires us to change the direction of the inequality sign. On the side with the variable, negative 3's will cancel out. On the other side, negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6. So we end up with n is less than positive 6. So we're going to put our numbers on our number line. And we're going to use 5, 6, and 7. Since it does not have the or equal to part, it means we're going to have an open circle on 6. And we're going to shade it in the direction of less than. Remember, you can always check it by taking a number and plugging it in. And is 5 less than 6? Yes, we graphed it the correct way. Let's take a look at another example today. This one says 8x plus 2 is less than or equal to negative 142. Well, here's the variable. We're multiplying by 8 and we're adding 2. Well, we need to undo the addition first, so we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. When we do that, the 2's on the side with the variable cancel out, leaving us with 8x. We go ahead and we do negative 142 minus 2, which is going to leave us with 8x is less than or equal to negative 144. We need to undo the multiplication now. Since they're multiplying by 8, the inverse of that is to divide by 8. So we'll divide both sides by 8. On the side with the variable, the 8's cancel out. We're not dividing by a negative, so we do not need to change the direction of the inequality sign. And we're left with x is less than or equal to negative 18. We'll put our numbers on our number line now. Remember that since these are negative, we need to make sure they're going in the correct direction. So we have negative 19, negative 18, and negative 17. This time our inequality sign does include the or equal to part. That means we're going to put a solid dot on negative 18, and since it's less than, we're going to shade it in the less than direction. Let's do one more before we end today. On this one, we have 1 plus m, all of that divided by negative 9 is greater than or equal to 1. Now remember, this is kind of the exception to the rule here. Usually we undo addition and subtraction first. But since they're actually dividing the sum of 1 plus m, we've got to take care of that division first. So the inverse of dividing by negative 9 is to multiply by negative 9. So we're going to multiply both sides by negative 9. Since we're multiplying by a negative, that's going to require us to change the direction of our inequality sign. 
Over here, the 9s will cancel out, leaves us with 1 plus m. Over here, 1 times negative 9 is negative 9. We've changed the direction of the sign, so we should have 1 plus m is less than or equal to negative 9. Our next step is to undo this addition here, so we need to subtract 1 from both sides. That cancels out. We've got our variable isolated, so we'll have m is less than or equal to negative 10. So on our number line, we need to put some uh, label some numbers. So we have negative 11, negative 10, and negative 9. Our inequality sign does include the or equal to part, which requires us to put a solid dot, not an open circle. And again, we're going to shade it in the direction of less than on this one today. Guys, I hope that helps a little bit, and I hope you find uh, solving two-step inequalities as simple as two-step equations. Please reach out if you have any questions. Have a good one.